I'm getting a little bit nervous. I'm in the book of Judges in my daily reading, and this next set of 10 questions from Test Your Bible Knowledge will be from the last part of the book of Exodus. I've done 13 of Carl Shoup's quizzes, and I'm getting to know his style. The multiple choice questions focus on the age of the characters and on the time that they spend in different places. And I'm trying to pay close attention to that when I do my daily reading, but there is a lot of information in the Bible. When I started taking the quizzes, I thought it would be no problem for me since I've been around the Bible for my entire life, but I found that the quizzes focus on some things that I just read and don't really think about. So for some of these questions, I've started to analyze the multiple choices and try to make the best educated guess. I'm still shooting for another perfect score. I've only done it one time out of about 140 questions so far. There are just over 1,430 questions. Hopefully I'll be able to do it again. For now though, it is off to the next set of 10 questions. All right. Question 131. By the Lord's ordinances, a master was to bore a Hebrew servant's ear through with an awl when A. A servant renounced his chance of freedom. B. A runaway servant was recaptured. C. A servant renounced his religion. Or D. Two servants were identical twins. Okay, this one I remember it is A. Um, a servant renounced his chance for freedom, and uh, that is when his ear would be pierced. So for 131, correct answer for me, A. 132, the ordinances decreed the death penalty for anyone who A. Cursed his father or mother, B. Spat on his mother, C. Stole from his father, or D. Betrayed his father to his mother. Here again, I'm fairly certain it's A, cursed his mother or father. It's not B, spat on his mother, or C, stole from his father. And it's not D, so A is the answer for me, 132. All right, 133. The dictum of an eye for an eye or tooth for a tooth and so on was first promulgated by the Lord in the ordinance dealing with A, miscarriage, B, revenge, C, servants, D, money lending. Well, I think that it is B because B seems to make the most sense. Revenge, since it's an eye for an eye and so forth. So for this one, I'm going to pick B as my answer. 133, B. 134, the ordinances did not extend the eye for an eye rule to A, hand for hand, B, foot for foot, C, ear for ear, or D, stripe for stripe. Okay, this is a question where you would have to be really paying close attention to that part of the Bible. Um, gosh, I don't know. The ordinances did not extend the eye for an eye rule to... Boy, boy, boy. Well, A, B, and C are all parts of the human body, and D is different, so... I'm going to make a guess here at D, stripe for stripe for question 134, D. 135. If a man stole an ox, ass, or a sheep, he had to restore double if the beast was found A, alive in his possession, B, dead in his possession, C, alive in the hands of others, or D, dead in the hands of others. Wow. Here again, I'm going to have to pick the best answer um, if a man stole an ox or an ass and had to restore double if the beast was found, man, it seems like B, dead in his possession, would make sense. But it could be D, dead in the hands of others. But, oh my gosh, let us guess here. Dead in the hands of others. That would mean he would have sold it probably. And... Um, Gosh, this is a tough one. I'm not sure exactly what the correct answer is. Let's see. Alive in the hands of others would also be good. So let's see. I'm just going to guess here, and I'm going to guess the first one that I thought about. B, 
dead in his possession. So 135B. All right, 136. A man who seduced an unbetrothed maid would be compelled to marry her, A, under all circumstances, B, under no circumstances, C, under one circumstance, or D, except under one circumstance. Good golly. Let's see. A man who seduced an unbetrothed maid would be compelled to marry her. Wow. I am going to guess that it is A, under all circumstances. I'm going to guess that one, 136, A, under all circumstances. 137, the ordinance imposed the death penalty for A, sodding, B, bestiality, C, estrepment, or D, pederasty. I think that it's B, bestiality. I can kind of remember reading about that. So for me, 137 will be letter B. 138. A loan to another Israelite who was poor had to be made at A, zero interest, B, negative interest, C, not more than 6%, or D, no higher than the market rate. Okay, it is A, 0%. All the other ones are kind of clever, but it is A, zero, zero interest. 139. To make room for the Israelites, the Lord said he would drive out the Hivites, Canaanites, and the Hittites only little by little to assure A, justice to these people, B, time to resettle them in Egypt, C, that the land would not become desolate, or D, enough servants for the Israelites. Okay, I do not think that it's D, enough servants for the Israelites. C seems to make good sense, that the land would not become desolate. Um, B, time to resettle them in Egypt. I don't think so. And A, justice to these people. I don't think that that's the answer either. Wow, I'm going to go process of elimination here. C for 139. 140. The Lord instructed Moses to place the mercy seat A, on the ark. B, beneath the ark. C, in the ark, or D, five feet from the ark. Okay, now this is about the tabernacle. So let's see, the Lord instructed Moses to place the mercy seat on the ark, beneath the ark. It's not in the ark, and I don't think it's D, five feet from the ark. So it's either A, on the ark, or B, beneath the ark. Man, oh man, I am going to guess that it is, wow, I just don't know. Maybe it is D, five feet from the ark. Let's go with 140 D and we'll see how that goes. Okay, that is 10 and that was a tough 10. And I will turn back to the answers very uh, nervously and see how many of these I was able to get correct. The answers are here in the back of the book. And I will start with number 131. And the correct answer is A. That's what I put down, A. And that's a good job. 132, correct answer, A. I also put A down. 133, correct answer, A. I said B. Okay, so let's turn back to 133 and see what the question was. Oh, yeah, this is the one the dictum of an eye for an eye and so on was first promulgated by the Lord. I said that the correct answer was B as revenge. Actually, it's A, miscarriage. So the correct answer for that, A, is a uh, miscarriage. All right. 134, the correct answer is C. Oh gosh, I, ha I put down D. So let's go back, 134. The ordinance, the ordinances did not extend the eye for an eye rule to, and I thought it was D stripe for stripe. Actually, it's C ear for ear. So that is two down for me. 135, correct answer A. Uh, I put down B. So let's go look at that. 
If a man stole an ox or an ass, he had to restore double if the beast was found. I said dead in his possession. Actually, correct answer, A, alive in his possession. So missed that one. That is three. Goodness, goodness, goodness. 136. Uh-oh, it's four now. Correct answer is D. I put down A. So let's take a look. 136. A man who seduced an unbetrothed maid would be compelled to marry her. And it is, I said A, under all circumstances. Correct answer is D, except under one circumstance. So missed that. I am at four now. Very nervous. 137, correct answer B. I uh, guessed B. Got that one right. 138, correct answer A. I guessed A also. 139 is C. And I put down C too. Good news. 140 is A, and I answered D. This is measurable. All right, let's take a look. 140, oh, this one was the one about the tabernacle. And I said D, five feet from the ark. Actually, the answer is A, on the ark. So that is the correct answer, and I got it wrong. Okay, out of that 10, I missed five. So that is 50% and that is terrible. That is terrible. Well, the lesson here is to pay attention, I guess, to the facts. But like I said, there are a lot of facts. And I don't know, maybe 50% is not really too bad when it has to do with questions about the law. But um, I don't know. It sounds like I'm whining a bit now. So we'll just move on. We'll keep pressing, pressing toward the mark. Um, there's always uh, another group of 10 out there in my future. And uh, we'll just see how that one goes. 